Hey everybody, it's Shafsky here, and here's your agenda for Tuesday, December the 3rd. I'm expecting you guys to carry on without me. So, first up, we got a funny little video I'm going to show you in a minute. Next, you're going to work on your Chapter 11 vocabulary chart. So hopefully the substitute has already passed out that vocabulary chart to you and you have glued it into page three of your notebook. If not, make sure you get that. And then lastly, if you've got time left over, which you should, work quietly on other homework assignments. Okay, so let's go to people falling on icy stairs. I thought this would be fun because we're in California and this doesn't happen here very often. Oh, we got an advertisement. Let me just skip this here. Little chance of a white Christmas, eh? Bookies slashing the odds for festive flakes. Forecasters predicting milder weather. Well, if you're upset there's little chance of snow on December the 25th, think again. There are still reasons to be cheerful. At least it'll be warmer. And more importantly, you should be able to walk down the street without falling over. That is, unless you've overindulged on the big day. In which case, Let me help you. watch oh. that center of gravity. Otherwise, there's a real danger. You could end up in some festive roundup. Face plant. Not looking your best. All right. So anyway, just a little video for you there. <clears throat> All right. So back to our. So, um, what you need to be working on now? You should, like I said, you should have the chapter eleven vocabulary chart. Here's what it looks like. Should be glued into page three of your notebook. Um, I will be checking these vocabulary charts on Thursday, and I expect that every single one of you will have this fully complete, which means highlighted vocabulary words, okay? So highlight the vocabulary words, and color and label your visuals in this spot here, okay? Um, real quickly, I want to go kind of through the words with you so you know a little bit about them. First word, it's a noun, it's a thing, ambition. Second, it's a verb something that you do. It's to promote. Third word, it's an adjective. It describes something or someone. Eloquent. And the last one is also a verb, advocate. Okay. So what I want you to do is look at the definitions for these four words and then on the next slide are going to be four images. Each one of those images matches, best matches, with one of these words. You need to figure out which image best matches with each word and then explain to me why. What are some clues in each image that connect to something in the definition that helps you figure out why that's the best match? Some of those images may be good matches for more than one word, but each image best matches one of these words. Okay? Then once you've completed this part, then I want you to go over and use the definition now that you understand it and complete the example sentence and then create a colored labeled visual that either goes with your example sentence or maybe it's um, inspired by the image that you guys see on the next slide. Don't have to worry about the content sentences today. We'll get to those in probably next week. All right, so here you go. Here are the four images, image A, Image B, which if you want to check out a YouTube connection, you can do that and see this guy in action. Image C is over here. I think you know who this is. And image D. So these are the images that you're going to be using. Okay. Real quickly, let me just qu uh, actually, um, <laughs> I just also want to remind you about PE today. And those of you who are signed up for my ultimate class, the substitute will be uh, 
taking the guys out to ultimate. Um, Sammy uh, Ramos, I need you to bring out the discs. I want you guys to focus today on just putting yourselves in groups of four, getting a disc, and practice throwing and catching. Okay, keep your throws low and practice catching using the pancake pancake technique that we've talked about a lot. Okay, so that's just for later on in today. But for now, here are your images, and use those to complete this particular uh, vocabulary chart. Last thing. The first person in each cohort to send me an Edmodo message with my correct favorite flavor of ice cream gets some extra credit. All right, you guys, make sure that this is done for Thursday. All right, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for um, keeping the class moving, even though I'm not here. Okay, bye.